while attempting to close up your chakras with the negative energies that you would be feeling. To feel only pure and happy energies is not to deny any aspect of your creation. As you have experienced pain and hardships and lower vibrations and emotions continually whilst living and existing on earth, the lower vibrations have been the name of the game for almost every life you have all limped on Gaia's surface, and we are now asking you to turn away from such emotions and feelings while transmuting them and forgiving those parts of yourself who exist and are comfortable with such emotions. Doing so will open up your chakras exponentially and will see you better able to manifest the future that we know you are so very excited to take part in. We ask you all now, in this beautiful and wondrous time to be incarnate on Dear Gaia, to make efforts in yourselves to feel the ascended souls and aspects of Dear Gaia that are coming online so to speak and beginning to bloom beautifully on Gaia's surface. The souls whom you know as plants are at their surface experiencing the first and second dimensions and we understand that that may seem to you to be a very dense experience for such souls but believe us, the plants are higher dimensional and they are bringing through higher dimensional aspects of themselves to be expressed on Gaia's surface at this time in accordance with the pure energies gracing her surface and your bodies and hearts. These souls are manifesting themselves through the first and second dimensional experiences and forms of plants, but they are themselves quite higher dimensional in nature and are using the pure and higher energies they have incarnated on your world as plants with, to aid in the opening up of various hot spots of the energy gates that are established all throughout Gaia's skies and atmosphere. When we say the term hot spot we do not mean it in the way that you have been accustomed to labeling such a phrase. By this we mean that such hot spots are areas of the various energy gates established in Gaia's skies who are experiencing the rapid yet careful opening and expanding of themselves to bring through pure energies, the proportions of which have not been experienced in some cases before the times of Atlantis and Lemuria. The energy coming through such spots in the energy gates are acting in accordance with the various higher dimensional souls who are incarnate on your world as plants, animals and humans, to manifest on Gaia's surface and with her light grip the very pure energies that have been coming to your world from realms beyond the current perception of humanity. Did you think that humans would be the only form that we ascended souls would take on your world to assist in her ascension? We would not pass up such bountiful opportunities to incarnate on your world and assist in your ascension as various different types and forms of the wonderful creation incarnate on her surface. Your Earth has hosted so very many different and unique types and races of life forms and the separation that is played upon in your human culture is a result of the playing upon of your perceived outer differences, even though within you are all the beautiful energy of Source, of our Creator simply incarnate in a different and more dense form. Many assume that the most important deciding events on your world that will tell when you are finally freed as a collective are those of what is happening to the Illuminati in relation to the complete breakdown of their empire and exposure of all that they have done to you which is in progress currently. This is in fact not so, as while such events are very important in your collective freedom, they themselves are not the deciding events that choose what manifests on your world and how your freedom is attained. No dear souls, as has been expressed endlessly, 
the choices made by each and every one of you and the underlying foundational energies of each and every emotion you feel and each and every creation you bring through yourselves are the ultimate deciding factors in your collective freedom. The dark souls on your world have always been simple hollow expressions of the collective darkness and density that you have manifested within yourselves to be created on earth, which is why it makes sense that as so many of you awaken and so many ascended souls incarnate on earth, to bring through energies of assistance in Gaia's ascension. The negative energies which have been manifested and federal and which manifested the incarnation of the Illuminati will naturally begin to wash away and be transmuted. As this happens, naturally they the Illuminati are exposed and taken down so to speak and while we will continue to give you updates in that avenue. We must place focus and importance on the etheric and higher dimensional energies which are bringing these souls exposure forth to see that your collective freedom is attained in time for the most rapid and intense phases of your collective and individual ascension processes. This is why you are given guidance on what you can do in your own lives to help manifest the lighted energies that aid terrifically in such exposures and transmutations of the dark, because if one is kept continually worrying about events in the physical, they miss out completely on the higher dimensional aspects of such physical events that are manifesting the events to bring about a wondrous freedom and resulting ascension for all of humanity. This is your ascension and your exposure of the collective darkness that you have manifested, and while we again do assist in such endeavors and give you updates as we are able to operate from and fathom the higher perspective that sees us know about such events, you are the beautiful angels who are bringing this exposure about. It is only fair that you have a level playing field in which to live out your experiences without being forced out of your lives on a massive scale which is why we are here assisting in the exposure of the dark while making sure that they can no longer cause a mass loss of life. While we do such things for you and we enjoy immensely doing such things, you are constantly and continually manifesting the energies that we use to be able to help you as indeed if the energies being brought through to you world were too dense and of the lower vibrations, we would not be able to assist and as has been said before, this is why we have not been able to assist in the cleansing of pollution from certain areas of Gaia's surface where the collective density being manifested is still a bit too lower vibratory. You will continue to be reminded in the days and weeks ahead of your importance as a creator in this whole scenario, and you will be given guidance as to what you can do as a collective and as individuals to see that the energy manifested in your areas and on your world is pure enough to call for all that you have been waiting to see come to fruition and the energies already being manifested and the energies that will continue to be manifested and brought through your beautiful spirit complexes and bodies are already seeing such events get underway. Thank you to the Pleiadian High Council, Westamnac.com, Aquarius Channelings.com.